And here's something I believe a lot of you guys would love. Remember, when we talked about Blender 4.0, we did talk about a couple of cool improvements that were coming over to that version of Blender. We mentioned the fact that you can now create your own custom-made node-based modifiers, and we did mention a couple of cool improvements which includes the fonts, some viewport updates, some rendering updates, but one thing actually stood out amongst the comments and that has to do with the modifier. We did talk about the update that is now available within the modifier as if you open Blender 4.0 right now and if you go over to the modifier tab, if you click now, you can type. A lot of you guys were happy with this while a couple of you guys were not. Personally, I'm used to the entire drop down thing where you can find all of the modifiers yourself instead of clicking and finding these things one after the other. And luckily, today we have a solution for that as Blue Nile 3D has just recently released the old modifier menu plugin. This is totally free and you can get it either on Gumroad or on Blender Market. If you take a look at this, this is just one they released and it is super cool. The good thing here is you can download this and load it into Blender. So if you're going to be working with Blender 4.0 or above, you can simply download this, go all the way to edit, go all the way to preference, and go to your add-on section. Within the add-on, click on install, navigate to where you have it installed, click, and you can add the add-on to your Blender. Once you have that, click on the bugger menu, click on save preference, and close the window. Now you will see within the modifier section, you have it. So at this point, you can now enjoy the previous modifier type that you have. So if you're trying to get that wireframe stuff that you wanted, of course you can, you can now work with that. Additionally, this also works with the new one. So just in case you wanna have access to the hair stuff that is existing here, you can. And of course, if you like to work with the previous one, you can. Now I did understand the concept of having this new one, which is the hair, but then I still understand that modifications could also be made by simply adding an extra column somewhere around here and adding the hair. I mean, we already have something this long, and it wouldn't even hurt to have even something a bit bigger than that. Possibly there could be another button that can either turn this on or turn this off. But either ways, if you have always wanted to work with the previous version of Blender modifier, right now you can simply go ahead and get it. It is 4.0 ready and of course if you want to use this for Blender 4.1, you can also have access to it. Speaking of things that are 4.0 ready, Atel, creator of the AutoRig Pro, has also announced that 4.0 update is coming to AutoRig Pro and there are lots of changes that will be coming to this. So just in case you like to get this, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you over to this page where you can check out AutoRig Pro. More so, there are other tools that are also 4.0 ready and we've also talked about a couple of these on the channel before and you can also proceed to check out on some of these other ones that we've mentioned in the previous brand new blender update video that we've made in another news november is here and this is a yearly community challenge that is done during the month of november the idea here is to help artists improve and show off their procedural skills and this year we have 15 prompts with individual prompts spanning across two days so whether you're into blender houdini cinema 4d or you like working with substance designer you can now take advantage of this and start creating some interesting things for yourself and as always with every november there are rules and this includes shading texturing modeling music and sound synthesis so no image should be used for the texture no nodes that loads external data should be used in terms of texturing and for extra challenge you can use procedural lighting as no HDRI is required. In terms of modeling, no manual modeling or sculpting is required, only basic primitives can be used. You're also not required to use any nodes that loads external data and for music, no samples or recordings and no nodes that loads external data is also required only basic oscillators for you to create the sound you're going for so if you like to hone your skill while creating cool stuff procedurally then november is the right time for you to get started and start making some very interesting things for yourself meanwhile for those who like to participate and you like to be found then you can simply use the hashtag november and november 2023 once you make your post on any social media of choice And before we go, I would like to use this opportunity to say a big thank you to everyone that has supported this channel. As we've just hit 250k, which is a quarter of a million. This wouldn't be possible if not for your exceptional support. We also want to thank you for enjoying and seeing the potential that this channel brings to the table as we put a lot of time and thought into research, scripting, shooting, editing, sound, and also making these videos entertaining and informative at the same time. So to all of our subscribers, audience members, visitors, and most of all, our patrons, thank you for making this channel what it is. And of course, for those who are new to the channel or probably you're part of the channel and you're not yet subscribed, you can simply hit the subscribe button, it's totally free and you can turn on notification once our video goes live. 
So this is it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Until I see you guys in the next video, happy new month and may all your wonderful dreams come true and have a wonderful rest of the year. And with that said, peace.